Russia calls UK weapon donations to Ukraine, junks. The Russian Ministry of Defense has claimed that the weapons and equipment sent by the UK to Kyiv are merely junks and not important to the British military anymore. The statement comes after Britain's Chief of the Defense Staff Admiral Tony Radican said Moscow had lost nearly half of its combat effectiveness in Kyiv since the February 2022 invasion. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the British military officials' staggering words were just a diversionary tactic aimed at securing funding for modern weapons. They are also reportedly an indication that the British Army is now desperate to replace the obsolete equipment it shipped to Ukraine. British Admiral Radikin's assessments about the armored vehicles lost by Russia, combined with claims that the Russian armed forces has lost half of its combat capability, are discouraging due to the sheer scale of the lies. Moscow's defense ministry stated, The logic and goals of Admiral Radikin's propagandist statements made in the British Parliament are obvious. To wrestle money from the stagnant budget to procure new weapons for the army and replace the junk being shipped to Ukraine alleged depleting stockpile. The Russian ministry claimed that the UK's own defense secretary Ben Wallace had said his country's weapon stockpile is facing total depletion. It also alleged that Western nations are mainly concerned about how to convince their taxpayers that the donations to Kyiv make sense at all. Earlier this year, it was reported that a British lawmaker criticized the government's decision to send Challenger 2 main battle tanks to Ukraine due to fears that it would reduce its operational capability by nearly a third. But in a recent parliament meeting, Wallace clarified that the UK had already started restocking, a few months ago, and that funding has been allocated already. We all have finite stocks, which is why we will use the cash in the fund to start commissioning, which we have already done, he said. Thanks for watching.